So, next match, Cheske Vudajovice against Bamberg. Ah, Germany interesting. against the Czech Republic. I think yes. we saw that uh, last year, as far as I remember, uh, Bamberg against uh, the Czech. And uh, we were quite, as far as I remember, impressed by the Czech uh, uh, ability to adapt to the fast uh, swimming and ball playing of uh, Bamberg. So I'm looking forward to this game. This will be uh, fast and Look, uh, the Czechs interesting game. Just won early this morning, 8:30 against Firenze, the Italian team, 3-0. And um, so I think the chances are that Mamber is going to win this match. Let's see. I mean, early in the morning, we all know, we all players know, the first match in the morning is sometimes not the best game, right? <laughs> So maybe the Czech can deliver a little bit more now against Bamberg. Uh, also, if you know that you know your opponent uh, is not as strong as you, and you are going to have several matches on the day, then also you save energy and you just do, you know, not the minimum, but just you keep your level. You just try but to but fight, not with everything you have. And so maybe they did uh, just the three goals um, because they were just. You know, but I think um, it will not be an easy game for Bamberg if no, they no, don't. No, 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 I'm uh, not saying that it's going to be easy. Careful. No, but uh, definitely no. Uh, they're going. To they fight uh, a lot, but I think that Bamberg is it's the the more experienced uh, team here, and also you know playing the German league, uh, um, they have probably better. Uh, chances to to participate and to uh, that that you know that the Czechs. I have no idea about the Czech league how they work. I think didn't they want to start playing the Three Nations League? I don't know. Did they? Oh, I don't I know. A rumor. I don't know. So, but uh, this is so important. I mean, we have a big league in Germany and in, in uh, many other countries. They don't have that possibility to have that many. You know. Mm, game situations that help you to develop and to keep a certain level of technique and tactic because you are being pushed by the other teams. If you have three teams in the whole country, have five yeah, teams in the whole enough. country and you are playing among yourself, then you, you've reached a maximum and the only way to ne get to the next level is participating with other nations. So that I think is the case of the Czech and that's what I'm saying. I think Bamba has more experience could be possible that they maybe I, I'm thinking maybe of two three zero for Bamber, but it's not going to be easy, and it's going to be a fight there. Yeah. Um, have, have you heard about the Kraken League, uh, which was initiated in uh, Switzerland? Yes. Uh, which is also a very interesting uh, concept, concept to develop yes. uh, underwater rugby and the skills for underwater rugby players. It's an open league, so you can uh, easy, easy uh, even apply as a single as a player, single player uh, yes. as a whole team single player or a group of players, and uh, you are put together by the skill um, to bring uh, the whole league and your own experience forward. I think that's one of the concepts uh, that bring underwater rugby in, in the personal level forward and uh, not on the elite level, but on the grassroots level. So thanks, uh, Levent Cavas, for your uh, compliment and recognition of our work. It's great. We appreciate it. Um, um, it I don't know it's not a point, but we are not paid uh, for doing this job because we want uh, uh, to contribute to the community. And for us, the important thing is not the money, but uh, uh, being part of this awesome community. Here, the uh, Orcas are coming in uh, again. Uh, preparing for the next game and uh, we're waiting for uh, uh, the Czech and Bamberg to start um, this game and it will be an interesting game to watch um, because of the uh, experience and speed of Bamberg and uh, the will of the Czech players we've seen in the last year games. Here we go, Bamberg from Germany in white and uh, the Czech team uh, from Brovici in uh, blue and we have a cluster in the middle of the pool and uh, Bamberg player is breaking free and coming uh, to the open side of the pool and this is still the testing and probing and uh, uh, looking what uh, the other team has in the water um, 
Bamberg is getting uh, the tuning of the is tuning its machines, its attacking machines, and um, right now the Czechs don't have a, a remedy to stop or interfere with the attacks of Bamberg. Ah, here we go. Now the Czech recover the ball uh, in their own uh, defense, but it's difficult for them to break free. Uh, the forward checking of Bamberg is quite intense and very fast. Um, and here we go. Bamberg recover the ball and is now in the closed corner of this uh, of this game and uh, is pushing from the closed side. Um, but uh, interesting, uh, here we don't see the, the second player was on the close side behind the basket. Um, and uh, th th most of the first uh, two and a half minutes happened uh, around, um, happened around uh, uh, the basket of uh, the Czech team. And Bamberg is now going in for the kill. That was the first uh, really dangerous attack on the goalkeeper. And... Um, uh, the Czechs have quite a hard time here withstanding the avalanche of the Bamberg players. And uh, yeah, that's uh, like we said, oh, oh, this interesting first goal. There was not even a defense, no goalkeeper on the Czech basket. Maybe misunderstanding or anger in no, their own the team. The ball was almost in control of, uh, of Czech and then they did not follow up. And uh, yeah, the, b and the beginning of the story was they were uh, in defense for two and a half minutes. So the pressure was really high. And when they thought uh, one of their players uh, secured the ball and could break free, uh, everybody just went up to the surface. And that's where uh, Bamberg scored. First ball, uh, uh, first how score. How is this called when everybody tried to escape? Is this a chicken tactics? It is. It is. You scare your uh, opponent by leaving the basket open and uh, they think there's a mistake and just what don't uh, score. What, what do you think? Uh, this, this we have so many listeners or something like that. We can uh, maybe put new, new uh, 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 names for specific tactics in the world rugby. So like uh, to, to, uh, to define... What I, I remember always with you, Wolf, is cluster. Something yes. Like that, that is something like that. Yeah, cluster is, uh, uh, I think that's uh, very good. You can see, you can call it in different ways, open cluster or uh, single cluster, two cluster. Um, and chicken tactic is now uh, you leave the ball, <laughs> you leave the basket <laughs> open. <laughs> you, you, you give the responsibility to, yeah, exactly. you, to, to your other players. And so it's not your exchange. fault. It's not your fault if you no, score. Uh, uh, Typical answer, I was not in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So, <laughs> Especially uh, as coach, <laughs> giving away the responsibility. <laughs> now, what I, th I, I like on uh, Bamberg's uh, way of play, is there's always a position in the middle. Is always uh, there's someone uh, uh, who can uh, get, distribute get the ball, the ball yeah. uh, something like that. This gets uh, in, in that sense, they can keep the, the pressure high. Um, so from from this point of view, uh, I really like it. This was, I thought it was a goal. But yeah, me too. It was close. I mean, it was well played. And uh, uh, the, 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 the passes on the goal are uh, hard and uh, in the right uh, position and something like that. So this is uh, also what I think it's a very big advantage uh, for their gameplay. So if you, they bring in, when they pass the ball, it's really, uh, it gives the, the, the team an advantage. If you swim with two girl or two, two men uh, and you just give him a ball because he's there, then it makes no sense. No. So it's just waste of time, waste of speed. But uh, it's really the, the, the question giving away the responsibility. Yes. Yeah, and uh, in the Bangberg team, they they keep they take the responsibility. Yes. That, that is uh, the, the most advantage in this. You see that a lot of beginners uh, playing, uh, they don't want responsibility. As soon as they have the ball, they want to get rid of it. So, and uh, you you got the ball, and you have to do the job. Uh, either it is uh, 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 counter attacking, attacking the goal. Uh, whatever it is. Okay, uh, let's stay back in the in the game. We see the Czech team uh, uh, recovering the ball and going for a counter-attack. 
uh, indirection of the Bamberg basket. Um, but the, the forward checking of Bamberg is uh, uh, quite perfect and uh, it's one of their main uh, uh, features. They just stop everything that is moving in the middle field and uh, they recover already recover the ball and go for a counter attack yes. to the check basket. And uh, again, we see no defender, no uh, uh, goalkeeper, even I though we are close to the check basket. What I, what I think is that uh, Bamberg is tried also in the, in the first attack to, to score. And I think. And now they're taking they, it easy. If they take somehow keep the speed or some more patient, it would be more effective. Because uh, every team can protect the goal on the first attack. Yes. So this is even the weakest player. No? Yep. But uh, 10, 20 seconds. And then on the, on the goalkeeper. third, four wave. And then. So here we are. Uh, Thomas still in power possession, probing uh, the, uh, the outskirts of the Czech uh, uh, basket. And that was a, oh, the, quite a dangerous pass to one of the players, uh, but he still received it. Now there is an attack on the closed side um, to the basket. And uh, there is always a, the, the Bamberg uh, team tries to, to attack from the top, then pass down to a player already waiting down uh, at the, at the uh, basket. Um, and the Czechs try try madly to defend um, but it's 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 very heavy and uh, um oh okay <laughs> it's the the bomber players use uh, the Czech players as a, a a way to push themselves forward or away and meanwhile uh, playing the ball back so another score um Um, Christian is in here and, and it's a nice point I didn't realize but he's right that um, not many Bamber players are w wearing the waterway fins and that's quite weird because uh, at this stage I mean normally um, we're used to see them that every player almost have the fiberglass um, fins and not the, 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 the normal fins to put in a way and uh, many of the Bamber players have just you know uh, stratos or just normal not the fiberglass ones so let's see, we are on the uh, check basket and Bamber is uh, there with three men and again no defender, no goalie and breaking point you say? Yeah, I, mean, I think it was, it was uh, The Czechs have been you know, putting a good fight, it's uh, one minute left from the game. But I'm still uh, um, um, surprised um, to see the Czech team uh, opening up the basket like that and uh, giving uh, Bamberg the, the freeway, um, the free highway to their own basket and uh, watching the game uh, uh, unfold before them. But we don't have to, we w I think we have to understand Bamberg is a, is a tough uh, opponent uh, to fight with and we don't know uh, much about the Czech team and uh, if they are the same uh, constellation as they've been last year. So uh, maybe new players or uh, another, uh, well, put together team. So the ball was out of the uh, playing area, free throw. Uh, let's see, they're not sure, against the Czech team. 14 seconds left of the first half and 3-0. And, you know, I'm surprised that the Czechs can defi d d make a, a good defense, but then eventually there's no goalkeeper yes. and no defense. Probably it's like two it's opposites. It's a question of uh, uh, condition. Uh, yeah, condition of the, the fitness. So talking about uh, uh, fins is quite interesting. Uh, and I think uh, I would love to, and I already collected uh, a lot of uh, video material for Toggle World and the Water Rugby about fins, about the different styles uh, of the fins. Uh, starting from the old plana fins, which are no longer produced, uh, to the very common and widely used mares, 
and also to the waterway fins used uh, the fiberglass fins carbon fins and we have uh, new fins coming up um, um, which are widely used like uh, the Nayade uh, rugby fins and uh, for sure the Aris fins uh, made by uh, uh, Ege uh, which I haven't used yet uh, I'd like to use them they are quite heavy I heard um, but I think there are different styles in playing with different fins and uh, fins don't make a good swimming and I learned a lot from uh, um, the Nayade fins about uh, a good style because uh, I think with the uh, uh, fiberglass fins you're able to to kick the water and get forward quite fast. Yeah, but you don't have a lot of mobility of bending. I mean, for that you need exactly. the smaller fins. But but the thing I want to say is um, you don't have to be an experienced swimmer to swim fast with the uh, uh, fiberglass fins. But with these Nayade fins, they really teach you how to swim. So yeah, it's always different. You need to different. have a, a higher yeah. frequency of movement so in your legs. Uh, another thing uh, I wanted to talk about, because uh, Jörg was uh, talking about the wording for, uh, uh, um, for the commentaries, um, I already put together a Facebook website, uh, which I call the um, Livestream Commentator Academy, and um, I wrote a, a little paper about what's important about the live stream, uh, the experience I had in the last uh, three years with Lorena, and also me myself doing uh, the German Championships uh, uh, commentating, and I put together uh, the knowledge and the feedback um, I got um, from uh, the watchers and uh, you will can watch uh, the uh, live stream commentator academy I will put the link onward uh, uh, online uh, probably today so um, there will be a, a list of wording which we can agree on and uh, I see it as a platform for everyone who has to do comments for a live stream to get a first uh, orientation and uh, 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 a guidance uh, how to do a, a commentary yeah, to get some standards exactly. Uh, established exactly. mm -hmm. because I think the important thing is the exchange of knowledge and not the keeping of knowledge or the complaining of uh, not doing it right we have to share the knowledge uh, we are developing the technical uh, issues are developing we have uh, better transmissions we have uh, uh, so things are changing fast and the human factor commentators were not very common uh, five years ago and uh, now with the live streams coming up uh, we need to share the knowledge um, of how to commentate live streams so back in the second half uh, Bamberg Germany against uh, the Czech team and let's see if the Czechs can put up with the pressure of Bamber. let's see also if Bamber, you know just keep it uh, in a, I mean, they probably try to spare energy and uh, try to, yeah, don't you know? They have three goals, so they don't need really to uh, go over it too physical or too much strength. If they are in possession of the ball and attack eventually, but they keep you know the ball the ball flow um, and see what the checks can do about it and don't take ri unnecessary risks like that one. I'm. Uh, um, I think the 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 game of the Czechs are uh, is uh, not this bad, but I'm surprised by the lack of uh, consequence in the defense of, and of uh, the Czechs. The Czech. uh, we see there are a lot of uh, gaping holes or even empty basket and uh, without defender or uh, goalkeeper. So let's see what the second half brings. Uh, Bamberg is already in attacking mode again. Uh, closing in on the close side and there is an open side a player waiting and we have a, a it's not a well it's a goalie cluster around the goal and uh, here we go the check uh, recover the ball and um, lose it again they lose it again to the Bamberg players and here we are back again uh, was a little excursion to the middle of the pool, but now we are back again at the um, basket of the Czechs. And uh, here we see again uh, the Czechs recovering the ball, but losing it at, uh, at once. And that's something um, we see uh, with Bamberg quite often. They are uh, uh, really 
uh, talented four checkers in the middle field and it's almost impossible to penetrate their uh, four checking defense and here we are at the goal and then this is another goal um, coming from the open side and uh, with a fast ball passing back and forth and that's uh, another decision 4-0 for Bamberg the German team and uh, against uh, the Czech from uh, Vujovice. So uh, yes, Sultan, I think you're right. Um, we are. Uh, we see the game against uh, one of the top players of the Champions Cup. And uh, maybe in the world there are the top uh, German players uh, in Bamberg. Uh, Lukas Tada, the team captain um, of uh, the German national team, is playing in Bamberg. Um, nevertheless, uh, you can give a hard fight uh, and lose, but uh, leaving the basket open and uh, doing like that is quite uh, um, quite impressive. Um, and it's a lot of uh, pressure uh, we see here on the on the checks, but they still doing well. You don't see them uh, their motivation breaking down, except for these uh, open baskets. So, yeah, no surprise for zero, and uh, it is. Uh, not that interesting as I uh, wished it to be. I was hoping uh, uh, Czech uh, put a little bit more pressure on Bamberg. Um, but nevertheless, it's a good game. Every rugby game is a good game. And uh, So, 4-0. 4-0, yeah. Not a big change uh, in, in the overall game. Um, we see Bamberg attacking. Uh, some uh, uh, effort of a uh, check to break free but mostly stopped in the middle field and uh, the constant attacks uh, of Bamberg uh, succeed with a goal. Here we go again. Five zero and five minutes to go. I really thought that there was going to be maybe, as I said before, three zero something like this, five zero. Um, a little bit surprised, but um, on the other hand, um, we know Bamberg and we know what the what they can do. Well, and yeah, and it, it's interesting for the for the rest of the Champions Cup what Bamberg uh, is able to um, to do and and to play in this Champions Cup um, because they never did win the Champions Cup. And uh, I know for sure they are uh, working hard, and it's their uh, uh, their dream to succeed in uh, winning the Champions Cup. And they are not getting younger. Bamberg is not uh, one of the youngest teams in the league. We have new teams coming up like uh, Krefeld, uh, good young players, not with the experience of Bamberg, but nevertheless. Um, the older you get, the more difficult it gets to win and uh, compete in these uh, high-level uh, international tournaments. Define older. Well, uh, okay, I think <laughs> I duck my own grave here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still young, I think. <laughs> uh, Sultan, thanks so much for describing the league. I mean, uh, was he was saying that Hungary plays together with uh, Austria, Slovakia, and Italian teams, and um, that's what Czech, you know, also uh, play. So they do have the the, the, the possibility to, to have, you know, exchange uh, with, with the other nations. And, yeah, um, well. Hungary has been also taking place in the Champions Cup every now and then, and they didn't come this year either. Uh, that's, that's a pity. It would be have nice to have them. Well, the thing uh, Christian Schäfer is asking about uh, uh, Bamberg, uh, most of them, a lot of them are playing together for uh, uh, a long time and they uh, dedicated their life to underwater rugby, structured their whole life around it. And uh, um, right now there is uh, 
Hannes Hoffmann, who is also playing in the Euroleague for uh, uh, Vienna, for, for Austria. Um, we have uh, Hannes Treer, who formerly played uh, with BOL Underwater Rugby, which, is, uh, which was one of the uh, Berlin teams playing in the league. They no, don't play in the league anymore. Um, we don't know that much about them. Uh, we had one player from Bamberg playing with us, a young player. He told us a lot about uh, the history of Bamberg, um, which is centered around underwater rugby. Um, now we see again, uh, it's, it's the same repeating story here. Um, Bamberg around the basket of the Czech. Two minutes left uh, in the second half of... Uh, uh, this game, Czech uh, Republic uh, against Germany, against Bamberg, and uh, there is no doubt Bamberg is one of the uh, top teams here in the Champions Cup with the Orcas and Molde to win uh, the Champions Cup. Um, I think uh, the Turkish team is still a wild card. Um, I think they're very strong and good players, um, so let's see how they do today. Um, well, but look, they're holding, I mean, for a long time without a goal, the Czech. Uh, right now, well, Bamber is uh, attacking again quite massive, and yeah, um, it was clear that was going to score another goal. 6 0. Um, and um, Christian was asking about who is uh, playing for Bamber. That's, you know, the all the 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 the, the how is that camp in, in English the core the, they the have core, a, yeah. uh, players of Bamberg have been here for the last uh, eight nine ten years uh, we have the Tata brothers and then we know that this year um, Hannes um, Trier. Hoffman, uh, I just Trier. I just uh, told uh, on, okay. on, the, on the yeah yeah but can you you can and repeat it uh, but yeah that's um, they don't have uh, really new players. Um, yeah, well, uh, they they tr try if they have a, g a gap, they bring in new players like Hannes Treer right now, who is a, a player from Göttingen and uh, fits perfectly into uh, the team. Um, there is no disruption in the in the game style, um, and I think it's a it's a good thing for Hannes to play with Bamberg, which is well. On the one of the top teams in in Germany. Um, Fifteen seconds left. I think that's it. What's the what's the next team? Well, you know, Christian is mentioning something that all I, I agree about. If we could talk about more of the of the, the players, the problem is like we have just a list with the players, and even though well, we have been in the in the scene of rugby since a long time, and we know maybe one player from this team, two players of the others, is difficult. And for instance, Akaren gave us uh, a nice uh, information paper. Uh, paper with all the names and the positions and how long they are playing in the team and also all the, you know, the curriculum <laughs> of the rugby of off the players. And I actually, so the other teams are listening, uh, if you... Uh, have information, have information about your team. Please bring it to us because that's you know great for us and also for the people listening it at home. Uh, the only problem that we have is um, it's difficult sometimes to recognize the play because you cannot see the number on the on the cap. Um, so that will be the next step. But uh, I agree, Christian, with you, and we'll try to, <laughs> to see. If we I can think there is always room for improvement, and um, the the system with players. Um, you, you see it in, uh, in, in, in soccer, uh, I would like uh, to have a, a transmission device in the ball itself to see its movement patterns uh, like they have in football where they see different players where they move to the lot, uh, attackers, defenders and ball structure uh, in, in the game, ball movement in the game. There is uh, 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 no doubt there is room for improvement. Um, in, in up front we ask the, the teams about information sometimes we don't get any any information at all uh, or too late um, oh. uh, okay, we thank you Christian yeah you can be team, part yeah. of uh, my academy if you want um, I will put all this together and part of this academy could be to a database with uh, information uh, we collect about uh, single players 